The humble beard has become the world's most fashionable facial accessory. Whether you go for the Tony Stark, the lumberjack, or the full Gandalf. Now, if you're a bearded fella, you might have been a bit concerned by recent news stories claiming that your beard contains more poop than a toilet. But can it be true? Well, we'll get to that question at the end of the video. First, though, that story may have activated some lurking pogonophobia. That's the fear of beards. But they're perfectly natural. They're just these hairy things that sprout from your face. Just ask Wheezy Waiter. The beard aficionado and hirsute YouTuber has offered his services to BritLab to help demonstrate some of the science we'll cover as we look at just what's hiding in your facial hair. Hello, I have a beard. <sighs> it's awesome. Now, I'm gonna be honest. We really don't know why men grow beards. Sure, we know how they grow, and I actually made a video about it once. Uh, if you want the short version though, it's all about sex hormones that kick in around puberty. But we still don't know why men have beards, when they've not got the same sort of hair everywhere else on our bodies, and why most women seem to get along fine without them. Good old Charles Darwin suggested that beards evolved because women actually preferentially choose bearded mates. Why? Well, some suggestions are that beards signify high testosterone own levels. Or maybe they evolved to help in fights, protecting the jaw or just scaring your opponent by making you look bigger and more dominant. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> in the 1970s, someone even got a letter published in one of science's most prestigious journals, Nature, claiming that his beard growth was correlated with his own sexual activity. Little bit of oversharing there, we think. But just how gross is your beard. It's not controversial to say that beards can be a bit disgusting. For one thing, they itch, especially Ooh. in that difficult yeah. first oh, week. Yeah. Oh, That's because yeah. when you shave, you're cutting the hairs off at an angle with a sharp edge, and as they grow back longer, they can poke at the sides of your hair follicles and at your skin. If they end up turning all the way around and growing back into your follicle, you've got an ingrown hair. Those are the red spots and bumps that can show up on your chin. Annoyingly, the best cure for an ingrown hair is time and to let your beard grow longer. Beards can also be gross if they get full of bits of food, twit style. In fact, the medical historian Dr. Alan Withy wrote about how Victorians invented moustache spoons to keep them clear of soup. Then again, the Victorians also believed that beards somehow filtered the air, keeping you free from diseases. So, yeah. The thing is, beards do trap sweat and bodily fluids, so they provide the perfect environment for bacteria. And then the bacteria get to feed off all those manky bits of stuff that have got stuck in there. But what does the research say? Well, and here's a note for my mate who loves to snog bearded men. One dermatologist did like to point out that beards could hide the signs of transmissible skin conditions like yeast infections or herpes. And I did find one very small study that found that bearded men shed more bacteria than clean shaven ones when they're wearing wiggly surgical masks. Yeah, they only looked at what happened when wearing a mask that wiggled. Science thinks about strange things. So those bits of research may suggest that the bearded carry more bacteria. But another study looking specifically at bacteria levels on hospital workers suggested that bearded and clean-shaven men had about the same amount of bacteria living on them. And in fact, the smooth-chinned ones were actually more likely to harbour some dangerous antibiotic-resistant ones. So yes, beards can get gross, but so can clean-shaven people. That's science for you. Okay, the big one. What about this idea that your beard has more poop in it than a toilet? Well, those articles and tweets were really over-exaggerating. As Slate magazine and The Guardian discussed afterwards, the whole story came from just one TV news programme, which swabbed a small number of beards, then sent the samples to a microbiologist. A few of the bacteria they found turned out to be the ones that are associated with your intestines and faeces, but that was it. Seriously, the fact that they found a few poop-related bacteria in a few beards was the only reason for the headlines claiming that all beards trap loads of crap. And it's perfectly common to find gut bacteria like they found in those few beards on your skin, on your phone, or in your handbag. 
if you've got one. Most of us live with all of that just fine. So never fear, your toilet is probably worse than your beard. Thanks Wheezy2 for helping bring in our beard science to life. Don't forget to subscribe to Brit Lab if you haven't already. And why not check out Wheezy Waiter's YouTube channel here and subscribe while you're at it. Thanks for having me guys. I'm gonna go trim my beard. I apologize in advance if this film makes you feel more than a little unclean. If you're not into spiders, lice and bacteria, this one isn't for you I'm afraid. Well actually, this one is for you 